Enjoy your stay. Welcome to L.A. <laughs> yeah, Mr. D-O-double-R. I say, yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. Fresh paint job. Fresh inside. Is the outside frame in the trunk wide. Or the rims big? Do it right good. Lean back, right hand. Guys, Gourmet Tacos. Uh, we've been around since 1992, servicing uh, the Pico and Hauser area. Now we have people from all over the world flying in, trying our food. We've now brought a truck into our venue, so individuals can learn a little more about us, and we can go different places and bring our food to the public for all those that aren't available or able to come to Skies, the brick and mortar. Today, the LA City Council took up a debate on the issue of um, obviously the food trucks mm -hmm. um, and, and, and looking at that whole industry. It's being billed in the news as you know a food fight between brick and mortar establishments um, and and mobile um, catering trucks that the City Council has now gotten into the middle of. Uh, oftentimes, when we think of uh, mobile catering trucks, we don't necessarily think of African American establishments and the businesses right. as being in that industry, but you actually are a part of that industry, and so uh, any legislation or anything um, that's put forth from the city council would then also affect your mobile cuisine mobile Definitely. as well, right? Definitely. So what are your thoughts around that? Well, you know, if they, well, I have, I have several thoughts, however, um, if the city if they were to ban it, um, Skies, we're in a fortunate position because a lot of individuals know about us. We do a lot of private catering. It may not affect us the same way as other trucks, but I think some of the biggest arguments that I've heard from brick and mortar establishments, and I can see it from that view as well, is that they believe that the overhead is not the same, but that, that's absolutely, that's not true. It's, in our case, the overhead may be even more than the overhead in our store, especially so. on, a, on a startup truck. You, know, you have to build the truck. It has to be done to all these city specs and codes. It's not a. We don't have a bootleg truck where we're just, you know, we're parked in even hours of, you know, in the evening or, you know, hours that the city, the city's uh, uh, tax revenue or the individuals aren't open to come check on us. We're available at all times. So, so it's a little bit different. We have to, we have to hear and go by certain guidelines. And especially because we do have a brick and mortar establishment that we have to represent. So, if you had a message or anything, um, you a message you'd want to give to city council members who are taking up this issue over the next week, um, from from a perspective as as a proprietor who also owns a brick and mortar restaurant as well as someone who has a mobile catering truck, what would you want them to know from your mouth to their ears? Wow, you know that's a that's a really broad question, but I think. But in that, terms of I think, this, I think in, yeah. in terms of this, we're we're in America. Um, we we I think it's health, healthy competition. All the people that come to the trucks, I believe that it can help not only the trucks but local establishments as well. More people just means a more just more more people trying different things. Um, some people want to sit down. We're not able to offer seats. So, you know, uh, sit-down establishments have things to offer that, say, a mobile cuisine vehicle does not have to offer. So I think it's something for everybody. So when we have a lot of people involved in a lot of trucks, I just think it makes a really nice, nice event. So the bottom line for you is uh, competition is healthy, and there's more than enough to go around and here in a L.A. a city of, uh, of millions and millions of people, if you have good food, you'll be okay. All right. All right, so take me in the truck. Let me see what you guys are cooking oh in there. Let's go take okay, a look. Right. We're, we're gonna, gonna come in. We're gonna go inside and take a look. Oh, Get my shrimp tacos ready. That's what I'm ordering. Okay. <laughs> I want shrimp tacos and chips and guacamole. Okay, it's kind of a, it's kind of a. Give us a tour. It's a little, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but Hi. you know we're working it out. This is this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hey. And uh, <laughs> and this and this is Luis. Hi, Luis. Hi. Luis is the, he, he's definitely, the, he's the cook that's been with us for uh, for several years. So, All right. getting nervous now, look at that. Don't, don't get nervous. <laughs> but, uh, okay, what wow. Okay, you guys have it all going on in here. Yes, and um, as you can see, everything is, we, we have a newer refrigerator, gives the, the temperature on the outside. Okay. Uh, it's nice and cold, uh, 43, 40, no. Yeah, at this time it's 43. I just opened the door. Okay. We have a fire suppression system, uh, emergency back door, 
uh, another front door exit. So we have everything, <laughs> the guidelines at the city, what they require. Okay, now um, two shrimp tacos and some chips, chips and guacamole to go. That's my order. Okay. Okay, and we have we have hot water, everything. Okay. So, after you. Careful, it's like I'm not a plane. <laughs> okay, so what, uh, how did the whole idea around um, coming up with the uh, the shrimp mobile, the, the shrimp mobile, binging shrimp, <laughs> um, shrimp it, on the shaw. It was it was definitely a evolution with our team. We have a team, and we started talking about it, and uh, we noticed there's a certain truck that was kind of using our slogan. We're we're Mexican with a splash of soul, and their truck was Korean. They put Korean with a splash of soul. However, we've been around for 18 years, and they've been around for approximately three. So we started listening to this, and we were being sampled by a certain demographic, and uh, we realized that that we, we also need to, to, to join um, the truck. Uh, well, it's not just truck, but the gourmet cuisine. And we want to bring it to the public and it really let us know that, you know, we believe the Skies has something very special to offer. So that, that's why. Okay, so since you're kind of like a mobile restaurant on the road, what's on your menu and on the truck? On the truck, well, you know, it's a funny thing. Right now we have a very, a, I call it an abbreviated menu, but, um, for customers who come in and they know our menu, we're, we're letting them know that they can ask for menu items. But right now we have steak, chicken, veggie, a potato, we have quesadillas, but uh, they're a little smaller. They're four inch, but for individuals who do know about us, they can go with the uh, six inch. You know, let's, let's not forget the shrimp sauteed in butter and garlic. Okay, what else is on the menu? Is, is the lemonade here? No, the lemonade is coming, okay? We've been, we've had a lot of requests for the lemonade, but we have chips, guacamole, pico de gallo. So we can, we can bring that to you. And we also have salads, like a green, kind of your greenhouse salad for individuals who may want a shrimp salad or, or steak salad. So we, we definitely have, you know, we, we can make variety. We, we go to uh, various places during the week. However, here in front of Starbucks on Crenshaw, our plan is to be here from 4 to 8, Monday through Friday, and some Saturdays. But you can find out where we are by going to at Skies Tacos Twitter. And you can, or oh, Facebook. you're high tech too. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we plan on doing a few other things. But oh, we'll be able to text in our orders in a right, minute, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, at least, and we're talking about in calling in orders. Okay. On the truck. So we're, we're going to, I think we're going to make that, uh, that capability possible. All right.